Hi everybody, and welcome to the Epic Medic channel. So today, I want to give you an overview of this. This is a Steroplast Trauma Dressing. Really awesome bit of kit, which costs less than £5 from a number of different retailers, and can really make a difference in a life-threatening or non-life-threatening bleed situation. So without further ado, let's take a look at what you get. Okay, so this is your outside packaging. It does have some easy tear in it. So there's one there and one here. So there's a couple on there. So it's very easy to get into the outside packaging. Um, on the outside, you have all the information. You have uh, serial numbers and when it runs out of date, these have a really long shelf life on them. So no need to worry about that. Um, this particular one I'm looking at here is a 15 centimeter by 18 centimeter uh, version, and yeah, pretty simple. So I'll crack it open and I'll show you inside. Easy tear. Class the package aside, and you are left with the actual dressing itself in a nice and thin vacuum packed package. Awesome. Okay, so it's in its inner package here, and you can actually stage your dressings like this. There is no real need to have the outer packaging on, except for identification and things like that. This allows you to get into it much faster. Well, not much faster, but a little bit faster. Um, and also gives you a slightly smaller package, and also keeps the dressing nice and safe and sterile. So looking at the package here, we do have some more easy tear. You can see one here. Is there one on this side? Yep, one on this side as well. So you have two easy tear points, which you can rip by open quite quickly. I might actually take this opportunity just now to compare this to an Olay's dressing. So obviously they do different purposes. This has a number of multifunction um, aspects to it. Um, but side by side comparison, yeah, the, the, the thickness difference is quite astronomical I'd say. If I take a standard big lighter here, put it next to it, just slightly thicker than that. So this is why I love these. They just can fit in your pocket or anywhere unobtrusively and really well. So anyway, um, let me just remove this packaging. Well actually I have one I have prepared earlier. I'm going to keep this one in its current state, so bear with me one second. Okay, so here we have the dressing outside of its protective wrapping. Now you can see the actual bare bones of it. So basically what you have here, you have a large wound pad here, so of this side towards the wound, bandage on the outside. A little sneak peek there of its features. This is made from an elasticated material super stretchy and what that does it allows you to get some really good positive direct pressure onto that wound site so i'll just unravel it and you have a decent amount of bandage material here at the end you will find some velcro what this velcro does is once you've finished wrapping around the casualties appendage or wherever they're hurt you can simply velcro it to itself and it will actually stick. This has been used a few times for training purposes. There you go, see, it sticks really well. All that does, it stops it from tangling around everywhere and you haven't got to worry about safety pins or taping it up. So I really like that feature. And as I said before, you've really got that stretchiness there. So I'll demonstrate that. Okay, so here is my casualties appendage. He is made out of a pool, pool noodle, um, but we'll <laughs> overlook that for now. So what we have here is we have a nice deep cut here. Um, this isn't serious enough to warrant wound packing or anything like that, um, or we can say we already have done it. What we want to do now is apply a firm direct pressure bandage over the top. What we're going to do is we're going to take our wound pad here, this side towards the wound, and we're simply going to wrap around. Now, this is easier with a person. <laughs> but we'll make do. So, as you can see, what you can do with this material 
is you can actually wrap it round, pull to get that elastic to work on its magic, and then wrap around. So you're wrapping, you're stretching, and over. Really helps with that direct pressure, as I've mentioned a few times now. So you can go above, below, and over the wound. Again, pulling, stretching, and wrapping. And we'll keep going over. And then as we come to the end, we have our Velcro, really neat little feature there. And we can secure the dressing in place to look good when you get that person to hospital. So there you have it. That is the Steroplast Trauma Dressing. Um, I'll put some links in the description below of where you can get hold of one. Really, really pleased with this product. This has been a staple of my EDC Trauma Bleeding Control Kit for quite a while now. Also, it lives in my camp kit. So, I hope you like it. If you're interested in finding out more about things like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, get training, and I'll see you soon.